Hi guys, Lisa with Diamond Designs. All right, so I am ready to start this canvas. Um, I went ahead and got all the colors together yesterday. So I can say right off the bat that as I was cutting them open and putting them in the containers, they look great. Um, there was no trash in there whatsoever. And by trash, I mean like little pieces of plastic that can sometimes come off of the diamonds. I didn't see any of that. Not a single color from what I could see from the bags that I've opened so far had any like misshapen or uh, drills w with tabs on them. And by that, I mean, if you work with square drills, sometimes you'll have ones that'll have like little ple little pieces of plastic sticking off the side. So um, this is what the setup looks like once the colors are ready to go. I think I was able to get five bags which is about a thousand diamonds into each one of these. And then my leftovers are stored in right here, the bag that it originally came in. So as I run out and need more, I'll just reach into here and go from there. So the way that I work is I clip the diamond painting down so that it stays in place. I just, these particular clips I got from the dollar store, I think it was like four in a pack for a dollar or something like that. And then I have some that are a little bit stronger. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the canvas really quick with the light on. And as you can see, there is no crease and no bubble at all. There isn't any on this entire canvas because I've already checked, but I just wanted you to be able to see in the light on this particular section that I'm going to start with, it is absolutely perfect. You can see in the light that it's totally flat and ready to go. So I'm going to be doing a lot of um, pausing and then restarting in this video. But for you, it'll just kind of look like it flashed for a second. Um, one thing I want to go over before I start, if you don't already have a light pad, I would highly recommend that you get one. Um, so if you normally work on diamond paintings and you don't have one this is what you're used to seeing if you get a light pad which it's all mine's already this is an a3 um the sizes differ i think the biggest one they make is an a0 which is gigantic and you would need a really large working space for that um i started with an a4 which is about the size of an 8x10 piece of paper um, it's not too bad, but when you work on bigger diamond paintings like this one, which is a 60 by 45 centimeter, um, it's just not quite enough room. And this one just so happens to fit perfectly on top of the desk that I use, which is, it's just like a little lap desk right here. It does elevate, but because I'm going to be holding the camera over this to show to you guys, I'm going to leave it flat for now. So really quick, I'm going to turn it on. And you can immediately see the difference. The symbols are super clear. Um, sometimes when you don't work with one, it looks like the symbols almost can't be discerned, but they absolutely can. Um, and the light pad helps tremendously. I don't have particularly great eyesight. I wear contacts. So I wouldn't even be able to do this without them in. And the light pad helps immensely. So that's one thing that I would recommend. So I'm going to pause for one second. I'm going to put wax in my pen, grab the first color, and then I will be back shortly. And like I said, it'll just be like a quick skip for you guys. I'm not going to set the phone down or anything like that. I'm just going to hit the pause button several times throughout this and show everybody the uh, quality of the different colors in this section. And I'll open up a few more at the end just so that everybody can get an idea because as of right now, it looks like I am going to be switching to this manufacturer as my new supplier. And just in case anybody out there watching doesn't know, I do um, sell custom diamond paintings. I'm able to size them with a program that I have on my computer. I can show you thumbnails of what it'll look like at different sizes. Um, and then you can always choose between round and square diamonds and if I, I've pretty much already made up my mind that I am going to go with this new manufacturer. Um, the prices should be a lot cheaper than they were with the other one. So um, just bear with me for a minute. I'm going to get the pen uh, loaded up, get the first color ready. Then I'm going to zoom in on the drill quality and we will go from there. 
All right, I am back. So I am going to start with um, the number three just because I like to start with the corners and then kind of like work my way down here. Like I like kind of like to start on the border and then, um, like I said, work my way kind of down toward wherever I'm going to end at. Um, so because I have so much experience with square diamonds, I'm able to not use anything along the borders like this and place them and get them pretty straight but just for show purposes and for people that may not have that much experience with squ uh, square drills you can use a roller or a tray like I'm showing here and you can set it along right along the black border like I'm doing right here if you want to make sure that your square drills are lined up. So I'm not going to do that only because it would take too much, uh, I guess, skill since I'm trying to record and diamond paint at the same time. Um, but if you're, like I said, if you're a newbie or if you are not able to keep them straight, that's something that could be super helpful. And as I would actually, this is like a giant white tray. I would recommend um, the smaller green trays if you are going to use them as a border or even better, like I said, a ruler. Um, so right now I have, I'm sorry, I'm working with number three. So symbol number three, and I'm going to show an up close of what those diamonds look like dumped out. So as you can see, they are great quality. I'm going to get them under the light here for a second. There are no tabs whatsoever. They all look the exact same size. Um, I, I did, I always do shake them around until they stop moving. So I, I always have a couple that end up flipped for what for one reason or another but um they're very shiny once you get them in the light and kind of move it around a little bit um and then personally what I do is and you can see it right here here's my setup because I'm working on symbol number three I leave it standing up or um open depending and in this case both because it's not going to go anywhere it's pretty secure right there um, it's sometimes very easy to forget what symbol you're working on. And then all you have to do is glance over and take a look. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to hold the phone right here. Just make sure you guys, I want to make sure you guys have a good view and I'm going to start laying them down. So I don't want, I don't want this to take up too much of your time, but I do want everybody to be able to see the quality of them on the canvas since a lot of you want really wanted to see that part and I myself also want to see the quality especially once they're laid down so already um not a single issue with these they're lining up perfectly they're straight they all seem to be the same size so and, and again um I'm not going to make you guys watch this forever I'm going to do like an entire section. Um, I'm going to pause it and come back when I switch colors so that everybody can get a view of the different color diamonds within this kit. And then I'm going to show it with the light pad both on and off. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do the, this little section of threes right here. Then I'm going to turn it off, switch colors, uh, come back just to show you the color and then I'm just going to work on it and once I'm done that's when I'm going to show you the final result so so far like I said um, they're sticking down perfectly I don't see any misshapen with tabs out of place or anything like that and it looks like, for those of you who are super experienced, they have nine facets on them. And what that means is that each of these little tiny diamonds, believe it or not, if I were to really zoom in, has nine different sides. And um, basically what it does, and it, it they they somehow switch it up. Like sometimes it'll be like one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then other times they do it in a different pattern and it just makes the light reflect off of them differently so that you're, when you look at it, when you're finished, um, it shines better and kind of catches the sunlight or regular light or whatever 
kind of light you have. Um, it depends. It also kind of depends on what environment you hang it up in. Um, and it just, it just kind of makes it sparkle more. So I really like the fact that these have the nine facets. Some diamonds only have five and that's the difference there. So again, just with this color, no issues at all. And I have four diamonds left of this little section. Um, I'm going to zoom in in one second. I'm going to place the other threes that are scattered along here after I hit the pause button. And then, like I said, I'll be back. But I want to show you a quick... All right, here's the last one. Okay, so they're on there. You can already see the shine. Um, I am working right next to a light. So that is that little section of the threes. Um, the ones that I just laid down and here, I'm going to turn the light pad off and they, they really do appear to be great quality. Um, it's really frustrating to work with ones that have tabs and things like that. The, the other one that I'm working on right now, I think I said in a previous video has a lot of drills with tabs on them and it is kind of a nightmare to work with. I'm not going to lie. Um, but with that being said, for some reason, most of them aren't popping off or anything like that. But this is what you want to look for when it comes to drill quality. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to finish up the threes, move on to a different color, come back. And then I'm kind of just going to show quality in the trees, lay down a few of them. And then um, I'll end it once I show you guys like a different, I don't know, maybe five or six different colors um, and then I'll come back with follow-up videos after that. So stay tuned. All right. I have all of the threes laid down. Um, if I happen to miss one, which happens all the time, don't worry about it. I will go back and fill it in. <laughs> um, so far, so good. They fit perfectly. Um, you're always going to have like little, little tiny gaps like these, um, in between the drills. That's completely normal. Um, if you didn't have that, then, um, they wouldn't fit. So that is normal. And as you fill in the diamonds, um, the gaps will get a little bit smaller, but if you think about it, if they filled up the entire square and there was no gaps between them at all, um, it would be like a gigantic mess. So the next one I'm going to work on is H, which I believe is, um, you know what? I can double check. It is, uh, DMC number 550, which is like a kind of like a medium dark purple so um again drill quality looks great they all look even um let me see if i can shake them out a little better they just they like to get stuck on my tray for some reason but from the ones that you can see here they look great um so i'm gonna go ahead and lay a few of these down and um i will be back to show you what it looks like once i'm done that all right, so the H symbols are all put down, again, unless I missed one. Um, so far, looking at this, they're perfect. I I can't say enough about the quality of these diamonds. Um, there's no tabs. They all fit together exactly like they should. I'm going to turn the light pad off right now so you can see them. Wow. You really, you honestly really can't truly see the detail until the light pads off um so there's two different colors laid down right now super sparkly as you can see they fit together great um and the next one that i'm going to do is right here this is the equal sign which there aren't too many of this one on the canvas so you get a look in the light and up close again no tabs they're all the same size they are excellent, much, much, much better than um, than the previous manufacturer that I was working with. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these down and then I will be back and I'm going to show a few more colors. And then what I'm going to do um, just for the sake of time is finish up this section and then come back with a part two of this video because if you look at the canvas, um, I'll turn the light pad back on. The majority of it is the number two, and that's going to take me quite a while. So I'm going to come back in a minute or two. I'm going to show you one or two more colors, 
I'm going to finish it up and then I'm going to do a really quick part two of this video so that you can see the first section once it's complete. All right, hang tight. All right, that section is complete. And here it is with the light pad on. Again, um, spacing is exactly how it should be. Gaps are exactly how they should be. I don't have any single drills popping or anything like that. I can run my finger over it and nothing happens, which is basically an indication that it's perfect. Turn it off. Now you can see that there's three different colors on there so far. This is the next one that I'm going to be working with. I'm trying to get in the light for you guys. There we go. Trying. It's kind of hard to get them in the right light and make them sparkle sometimes, but I'm doing my best. So I am... There we go. There you can really see the shine again. Um, there's none misshapen. There's no tabs. They look amazing, just like all the other ones have so far. And there's only a few of this particular symbol i think it's it's yeah the letter u so i am gonna go ahead and just put these on really quick i just kind of want to show you guys so if you're not familiar here is how one would fit into i want to make sure i get the camera on the right angle it's kind of on a slant for you guys but if one goes in the middle of a section that you're already doing it should just go right in like that Again, there are, you know, little gaps and um, not every diamond's placed correctly. This one I moved a little bit to the left, which is why it looks like that. But once it's all complete, and again, if I turn the canvas off right now, so focus right here. Okay, if I turn it off, you can't even tell that there's a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you the re uh, the remainder of the colors, and then, like I said before, I'm going to come back with a part two of this video um, so that you can see what it looks like when everything is completed. Uh, right here is our next color, which is a light pink, super sparkly. There's only about four of these that need to be laid down, and then I will be back to show you the rest of them, so just hang tight. Okay, here's one more for you guys. This is like a, not, I wouldn't say a baby blue, but a lighter shade of blue. Once again, none with tabs, none misshapen, which is exactly what we're looking for. The next one is almost like a medium gray color. Um, Same exact thing with the quality. I have not had a single color that had anything wrong with it, any trash in it, etc. Alright, our next one is like a silverish color, I guess you could say. Same thing. We are going strong here with the quality of the drills. They look amazing. Uh, same shape, no tabs, no trash. Here we have a bit of a darker color. Once again, excellent quality. I'm trying to get like an up-close view. All the same size. They look great. Super shiny. Alright, this one is sort of a light, I guess like a greenish color. Excellent quality again, as you can see. Um, yeah, no tabs, none misshapen. So, so far so good. Another darker grayish color, I guess you would say that is. Here we have a little bit of a switch up with a red color. Once again, excellent quality. One more darker shade. No issues with this one either. This one is looks in person to be more of like a light purple i guess you would say um it'll probably be easier to see once it's on the canvas but again not anything wrong with a single drill on here and we are down to our final two colors for this section so here is what we have so far with the light pad on and then off 
and I'm going to show you the last two colors that I'm going to work with and then the follow-up will be in part two of this video. So here is the one. It's like a, I guess a reddish color. Um, again, perfect quality. And that's going to be for the percent symbol. And then I'm going to pause really quick to show you number two. And then I will be back. And our final color for this section, which is a darkish blue. And that is going to go on the number two symbol on the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in these red and blue ones. Again, here's a glance with the canvas on and then a glance with it off. So I'm going to put them down and then I will be back. Look at the shininess of them too. This is amazing. Uh, with part two of the video to show you guys what it looks like when it's completed and give you my final thoughts. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eye out for part two. It'll be coming out uh, shortly.